So, okay, so these are attacks from the underside, um, from the back. Normally you want to shift to this side so you can roll forward into the bucket of my, of my, my arm so I can just choke from this side. But if, if he initiates and wants to go to this side, I can go to this side, making sure that my leg is covering over his stomach and then this foot is coming on. Of course, I can even protect this or come into the body triangle position here. Either or here. So I kind of favour this kind of position here, and I'm going to keep my head close to here. So the first thing I want to do from here is to try and attack his neck. He has two hands and he's got his chin to defend his neck. So I need to remove some of these obstacles. So the first situation is for me to control his hands here, or he make it more difficult to hold this up. I want to control here, and if he's pulling here, I'm going to cause it cause him to react it, and I come here and I catch his arm. I've controlled this hand at the knuckle line. This comes deep, chin on top, and feed into the rear naked choke. The other way to do this is to use this straight jacket system, which is to hold his wrists here. I push this down, I touch my hand with my heel, scrape it back again. I caught the arm behind his back. I reach through here, control this hand at the knuckle line. This hand comes deep, I put my chin on top, and then come in for the rear naked choke again. If I'm having a problem with the breakthrough here of managing to choke him, I can always switch the position where I hold his arm here, I come wrist to wrist, control his arm here, I push with my left leg here, twist onto my right side and come through for the triangle here, from here, I've also got an arm bar, I can sit up for another arm bar, I've got a kimura here, and I've got a wrist lock here. So the next piece is if I'm really struggling. So from here, I'm not being able to control his hands properly, he's defending his neck here, so I'm going to come over here, I'm locking my feet on top, then twisting my body onto my right side, here. So from here, the first thing I can go to, if he holds his hands for example, is I can go with my hand foot is on the inside, I can come straight for this triangle. From here, if my foot is here, I can thread this foot through, let him come up, and I come into the normal triangle. And if he doesn't move from from here, if he doesn't move at all from here, I can always come through for the armbar. Have a think about that for you guys. <laughs>